Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Astroneer tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on chaining the rover so it becomes a train. Okay, so what I'm talking about, if not nonsense, is linking up more than one rover in order to make a mini train. Now, the first thing that I want to do here though is move this tether because it is right in the way of my vehicles and what I'll do is let's put it in my backpack in actual fact right there and let's remove this one and put it right there now you might be wondering why have I done that because I've now disabled the power to my tether all the way well, I've got a little trick to show you. Cunning plan. Um, I broke that link of the tether, so how can we get power back to that tether? And also, we're making it so it's not in our way, because the vehicles do crash into the tethers, and it is most annoying, so you don't want them there. Right, anyway, so, creating your vehicle. Notice that when you're too close with your rover, it disables the graphic for your next rover. So what you want to do, pull up your vehicle as close as you can make it, like so. Let's try from there. Then we're going to go over to the um, vehicle bay. I'm first going to slot in the power I picked up, because I don't need it on me. So let's pull it in there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add compounds so I can make another rover. And then I'm going to show you how you link them up and create a train. Okay, so let's build. There we go, cool. Now it's all well and good having your rover, but let's face it, apart from it giving us oxygen energy and fast travel around, we can't do anything else with it, storage wise, so we, we've only, we're still limited to just our 8 slots in our backpack. Wouldn't it be nice if we could create a ton more storage? And that's what this is all about. So what we need to do... Now the other rover is being created, we will reverse a bit closer and you see how that cable links appeared between the rover that was created and my rover I'm driving. What we do, we click on the connect, you see it's swirling around the back of my rover, like so, and left click. That's now linked this to my vehicle. Right, okay, so we don't want to put a seat in it. What I want to do is now drive this rover, if I can work out the direction. It is very simple. Notice I didn't have to untether the second rover. At least I don't think... No, I do have to untether it. Okay, so that's something to remember. Every time you create a rover, you'll need to untether it. Okay. Now that we have two rovers linked... Wouldn't it be nice if we linked a third? So let's do that. Let's drive the rover, the rovers out a bit until we see the graphic, there we go, of the next rover jump out of our vehicle. We now go back to, oh, I'm gonna need some more compound. So let's grab a load more compound. need four more let's go back to the vehicle bay add the compounds and create the rover
Okay, we're over created. So let's just see if we can unlink it now. Notice it's drained the power from my base. Wow. Okay, well, the first thing though we want to do is to link it to our other rovers. So, same again, what we must do is reverse it. There we go, that'll do perfect. Jump out, walk around, and click on the link. And there we go, that's now linked. Now we need to pull our rover out of it so we can undock the first rover, the last rover. Oh, this is getting confusing. You know what I mean. Right, let's jump out. Let's run around to the rear of my little train and unlink the rover, undock it. There we go, undocked. I wish I hadn't sucked all the power out of my base, but never mind. Okay, so you're asking a question now, aren't you? How many rovers can you chain? Well, my advice to you is to stick with three. Having said that, I'm now going to show you uh, sticking four on. I wouldn't advise any more than four. But let's show you linking up. I've got to wait for daytime to get energy for more. Okay, so now what we need to do, pull forwards. So we get the graphic back of the rover. very manoeuvrable. Right, okay, so let's drive it straight through here. This is a little road I attempted earlier, and what a mess I made. Alright, went much too far away, so let's back up a little. Oh, it's because there's no power, so I'm going to have to wait until the power comes back before it will create another rover. Fortunately, the nights and days don't last long. Although, there's gold over there. I could go and get some. Yeah, you know what? Let's jump out my vehicle. Because I've got it positioned just perfectly. Let's run over here and suck up some power. Oh no, that gold was a lot further than I realised. I'm sure there's another... Oh wait a minute, what's this over here? I'm just basically waiting for daytime, so, ah, no, I think it is power, yeah. Okay, so let's grab this power. Man stops, time stops for no man, or beast, so let's speed it up. Okay, so we got plenty of power. Let's head back. Let's put this power into the vehicle bay. Oh, right, well, it's full of power. Okay, so look, there's no link. So, what we're going to need to do now is a little messing around in order to get the rover into position. So, let's try reversing it. Let's, oh, there you go. No, you don't. That's not, there you go. That was, I went too close. Oh, it's getting used to the controls, which you will. They're not difficult. It's just me going senile. Right, let's get out the vehicle. Is that going to link yet? Okay, let's build it and then try. So we're going to need some more compound. As luck would have it, I've got loads. And don't worry, I am going to show you a very good reason for doing more rovers. This is going to blow your mind. Okay, so what we do, let's put this in. Let's put this one in. Let's create. OK, 
okay so there you go I was perfectly positioned so I'll let that get fully charged from the base and now I'll link it there we go linked that will charge all my vehicle up once the vehicle's fully charged let's pull it forwards a bit now what I need to do is look behind and drive in reverse or forwards right okay that's enough let's go back and unhitch or undock however you want to call it right now why do I say four maximum well over flat ground there's no problem but if you try to go up a hill your, your rover's going to struggle because it's pulling a lot of uh, weight obviously and a lot of these little wagons uh, little rovers now if you make too many rovers by mistake here is an ultimate why has that got power now oh it's because it's linking to mine I don't want it to link in actual fact I wanted to show you something here let's demonstrate what I want to show you in the cave system you see how it's sluggish though pulling four of these cars that's why you only want to stick to three because it does get a bit sluggish but they are following along nicely anyway let's make it to the cave if I can and show you what I want to show so the cave is just over here come on you can make it you know you can you know you want it right okay so we're at the cave let's now try and demonstrate why this is so cool what I'm gonna do first of all is unhitch these two so I have one left hitch to me so let's click just there right okay that's now unhitched the last two rovers now what I'm gonna do is come down here rip up uh, which one do I want to rip up yeah now let's rip this one up so if I rip this up pull it in my backpack okay I've lost the power to my link haven't I yeah well check this out go into my vehicle I'm gonna drive it into the cave I know you know you think what I'm gonna do but you don't you know okay notice we've lost power in my rover what I'm gonna do is turn my vehicle around jump out I'm gonna unhitch this rover it's now unhitched I'm gonna jump back into my vehicle I'm gonna demonstrate that you're safe in a storm whoops didn't mean to do that see now look it's in a storm the only thing that can happen is it can topple my rover over but if I get back in it'll be fine but this is a storm the full force of a storm and it helps you with these rocks right okay eh? storm is passing us now yeah jump out the vehicle reattach these oh there's the timer 
Right, why did I do what I've done down here in the cave system? Let's go take a look. Lo and behold, what this has done, and this will probably be changed in the future, but by leaving this here, this benefits me in two ways. Number one, I can now attach storage into this and use it as a means for locally storing until I can transfer it to my vehicle, but more importantly, check out the power and the oxygen. Even though it's not attached to my rover that I'm driving, I made sure it was full of charge and now the power will stay in the vehicle and power all of my cave system, my tethers. And if I do deplete, so let's now demonstrate doing a bit of mining and depleting my power. Let's see what happens. So okay, let's do some drilling. I know the time has gone, you can stop the video if you want, but this stuff's really cool. Okay, so let's drain that power. So I've got none left. There we go, perfectly drained. But look at that, check that out. My power is going up nice and quick. Mind you, it might be just my uh, wind. Maybe I need to disattach that. But basically, if we come up here and look at the rover that I left parked, it's still full charge. So, what this should tell you is that the tethers running from your base, if they're really long, grab up the first couple of tethers and leave a stationary rover fully charged. That will power your tether line and free up the space around your base without you having to keep crashing into tethers. So you can space them away from your base and keep them intact through your cave systems. Right, well, I hope you appreciate uh, one of the uses. Of course, I've still got these two rovers attached to mine. What I'm going to do with these is leave one empty for research components and attach two storage in the other one, thereby giving me, well, eight and well, 16 total storage. Until I get a large container, a large storage box, I haven't found it yet, but I will get there. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.